Interactive has been around as long well as I've been in business, probably longer. They specialize in end scale modular layers, which means the main person owns and is responsible for his sections of the layout. And then they bring them out to rail shows like this one and many others. They transport them there. They come. They, they put in a lot of hours putting these things together and taking them apart. All modules. To make the uniform so you can join them together in any kind of combination of that. And then they all bring out their trains and they run them. It's all DCC. So like I say, these guys have been running for as long as I can run. They do a fantastic job and they're a really, really good thing to have out at your rail shows and exhibits. Yeah. This is the nautical model group. I've done a YouTube video on these fellows before. I did one about the, the, the Tomlinson gravel pit pond they were on. And we were at the show last year, of course, display. This is their static display. All these boats are or should be graded. They're running a film right now. They run at Browns Inlet on Wednesday nights in the nice weather. And they run at their little club pit on weekends. These boats vary from kits, semi kits, to full scratch build, where they built it from a plan. They all at least run and change direction, go reverse. Some of them have lights, sounds, uh, firing weapon sounds, whatever they can incorporate. There's a big feat of miniature engineering involved. A lot of it is innovation. You can't just buy it off the rack. So these guys have been around. I've been in this group for 30 years, I think. Uh, it was a bigger club. They split, and this club's been around since the early 90s, and they're still going strong. Always good to see these guys. Nice to see these guys. This is the Animal Model Car Group that's in Quebec. Association de Mato Reduit de Littere. And they run an annual model contest, which is scheduled for August 29th, 2023. You can check in on the Hobby Center website or social media, and we'll have more about it. We vend at this thing every year. Great bunch of guys. They've been around quite a few years as well. They're into all things plastic models, from cars to trucks to heavy trucks. Again, if model cars is your thing, this is the bunch we These guys work closely in association with the Ottawa Model Car Group. They're big supporters of ours, as we are of them. Uh, we go to their show, they come to our show, and they participate in our uh, trunk sales and parking lot food. Built the platform in the racks with the big bows in it, like a covered wagon. And Salut, votre concours, c'est le, le 20 mars, le 20 d'où, le 29? Le 20 août. Excellent, merci. What kind of model while you're here to kind of give people an idea of the process? So, that's not right. Their, their contest is August 20, 20th, not 29th. Oh, it looked like 29th. I stand corrected. So, it is August the 20th, is that sure? Sure. Perfect. So, he's working on prepping some parts and stuff. He's showing something that he's painted that he's working on. Some of these boring shows are a good time to do. <laughs> One six scale, which is the old school GI Joe scale. This fellow one collects them, customizes them. I think he's got a little side business going on with customized figures and accessories, 3D printing. He's using a lot of 3D printing to create things to go with these figures. So kind of a neat niche hobby on its own. Oh. Soldier guy in the market. Deals in painted soldiers and figures, collectibles, things like that. So we're probably going to be cutting until we get to the far end. 
because this is all just vendors. It's a good amount of vendors. If you want to film the vendors, I just I'll just clam up. I don't need to talk about them, but it's vendors from here to the far end of the mall, and that's when we hit the train layouts and the Lego and all that stuff. So. That's actually. Oh, Hi, yeah. Uh, Show us the hair. Oh. Did you lose your employee? I'm sorry. You're out. Hey. Was he the Lego? <laughs> Hi, buy some. Oh, well, bye, bye. Remember that fellow? He's here. Which one? The big Russian fellow who will buy my stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Is he on the other side? He's on the other side. Yeah, I saw him. He's selling like hockey figures or something. Lots of people selling collectible things. Yeah. He has the stashes, they're doing this side gig. This is pretty specialized stuff. I'm seeing this guy in various contests and events as science pictures. These are really cool. These guys are pretty hardcore radio control. That's pretty big stuff, I mean. I think this thing's got a real miniature jet engine in it. I think Anthony did a short reel on it already for his location. Old school fuel powered engines. Also, wood construction. <laughs> These little guys in the end, that's about as crazy as the hobby center gets. They're little electrics that uh, are pretty well ready to run, charge up the batteries and go. Also, this is the uh, Quebec model pack, the problem Phil Zero of the Sewer. And uh, it's a model train club, and they don't discriminate. Like, if you're a model railroader, you're in. So what they are doing here is they're showing everybody all the different scales. This is a wonderful display. So you've got your O scale running there, the larger ones. And you've got HO scale running next to it. And then this little tiny N scale, like the N track, that's coming in. There's N, H, E, O, O. And then G scale, which is the garden railway scale. So you got all these four scales all running side by each so you can really visualize the difference in size. And then on the upper levels, they got some you know, there's another O scale, there's another G scale. And then just to add to all these things, they put this extra track on the outside. Yeah, I think this is new, I don't remember it. They got a big G scale on the outside. So it's just almost overwhelming with the types and scales of trains on them. Gives you a good idea. These guys have been running for a number of years. I have seen this layout uh, at the Mont Blue Ford show. That's where this show originated. And then it moved to this shopping mall a number of years ago, and it just keeps going from there. So, pretty out the bunch. As you know, these clubs are year in, year in, and you really like to show your stuff around. So, always a highlight of this show is these guys and their multi scale display. Okay. This is a neat thing. This shows up every day. Hey. Hi. This is Ian, one of the organizers of this thing. Excellent. He's kind of my contact guy. <laughs> These guys, this is hand laid track. And they put it on the upright. They bring this thing out every year, too. It's all built from scratch, right? All built from scratch. There's a lot of work on this thing. That's the That's the deal. This is. This is Gauge one or G gauge? Uh, G, G gauge. G gauge? 
Yeah, sometimes, okay, thanks. Sometimes when you're leading stuff on the number one gauge or whatever, which should be, I think, a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a What's the LTF? Is this a skin off of this group or a little bit more? Yeah, yeah. This is part of this? This is from the two guys from the group. Okay. 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 Right. This belongs to the club of the group. These guys are in that group, but this is their own thing. And they got one of those steel, like we didn't see on the other one, we got an S gauge trainer, which is the old uh, American flyer. So that's the one that's a little bit smaller than the uh, old gauge. But it's a passenger train, just hit the corner of it. I just said, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, Pretty fascinating stuff. So it's just a big battery powered, I assume, self running train. Using perpetual motion. Perpetual motion. There you go. All right, Lego. Oh, we're coming up on the Lego. These guys outdid themselves this year. I think this is bigger than I've ever seen it out here. So Parliament. Oh, all right. Play on Parliament. Lego Users Group. Lug. So Parliament. Yep. With a working train. Well, they have These trains are running around just like they do on all the other ones. But every single thing, whether it's a car, a truck, a train, a building, it's all made out of Lego. How much work do you think went into this? How many months of, or weeks? I don't know. Yeah, hard to say. Like this isn't your little toy Lego set. This is pretty, pretty amazing stuff. There's like 10 people working full time for 25 hours. Without breaks. I'm just sad to the fun you think they got a this not running right now, a working Ferris wheel. Yeah. I would bet money that that container thing will probably pick and drop containers on the train. Ooh. That's a lot of people. I like how they avoid licensing Brickacola instead of Coca-Cola. Brixy instead of Pepsi. That's clever. <laughs> This is, a, this is an expansion on You know, they always have one at least that big, and this one's a whole added on section. They got the cities over there? The cities? Oh, sorry, I should be buildings. Yeah, Empire State Building for sure. There's the Ironworks the building. Style, yeah. Yeah, that's why it's just a see, it looks like superhero action over there. Superhero action. Oh yeah, okay. There's some yeah. Marvel characters there. Oh, there's a bunch of Marvel characters. There's a Hulk in there, Iron Man, all in Lego. That's really cool. I would guess that's Ant-Man. Yeah. Giant Ant-Man. Giant Ant-Man. It's just a boat fun with these guys. That's, uh, oh, this looks neat. Look at this one. I don't think they'll have from scratch. This just takes it to a new level, right? Yeah. Oops. Yep. Modulized. So these are the T track guys. It's like N track, but instead of having all the built up supports and all the all the logistical nightmare that is, they just need a bunch of tables. So the modules can be this big, this big, double big, you know, as long as they conform to a certain size and height. You can put them together and just give you guys a bunch of tables, you're good to go, right? Yeah, Very portable. Very practical. Wow. And just as much fun. All right. So I bet you don't.